Hello and welcome to the Spreadco video update for Thursday the 4th of May. Well, it's non-farm payroll time again. Uh, tomorrow sees the latest release and it's worth bearing in mind that this time last month we had an absolute shocker when non-farm payrolls came in at just 98,000 on expectations of a rise of 174,000. And in fact, the whisper number had been something higher than that, perhaps even as much as 200,000 after a very strong ADP number just a few days before. Now, the bad data has been written off as being transitory, weather-related, something that may be not important, so that suggests that we need to see a better number uh, tomorrow. However, if we actually look at the six-month rolling average, even after taking into account last month's bad data, that's still running at around 176,000 jobs gained per month. And it hasn't actually uh, dropped below 170,000 uh, since 2012. Now, in the current environment, the way everything is set up, uh, anything over 150,000 is, is pretty good. And on top of that, we've got the unemployment rate, which has been at or below 5% for the past 18 months. And last month, it came in at 4.5%, the lowest level in close to 10 years. So so all in all, the unemployment picture looks okay, and uh, in fact the Fed said as much last night in its FOMC statement. Now, thinking about that, thinking about that, thinking about the inflation situation as well, uh, and bear in mind that the Fed's favoured measure of inflation, the PCE, um, the headline that's um, including food and energy, has just dropped back below the 2% target to about 1.8%, um, And the, but if you strip out food and energy, then it's quite a bit lower than that. But remember that, of course, wages also feed into inflation, and one of the concerns is if you're coming up to sort of maximum employment, which we could be by some measures, then there's always the chance that wages will sort of start to creep higher and then we could see a big jump in inflation, which the Fed must be very conscious of. But for, that, for now, they don't seem to be worried about it and one of the reasons for that, I, I'm afraid, is that a lot of the jobs being created at the moment are pretty low paid. So that's the situation going into tomorrow's number. Uh, the expectation is for a figure of just shy of 200,000. I think if we get something like 200,000 or a bit above, then that's kind of steady as she goes as far as the market's concerned. I don't think bond yields are going to move very much. I don't think the dollar will move very much, at least uh, not in the long term. We might have a, a, a small spike higher um, to start off with. Although a, a number, I think, over 200,000 could be quite good for equities and it could help the uh, the Dow and the S&P to take out their highs from back at the beginning of March. I think a bad number, uh, at least in in the initial stages and, and one that will make the market wonder whether the, uh, the weaker data that we've seen recently isn't transitory, as the Fed has suggested last night, uh, if we get something below 150,000. I think if we see something like that, when we'll see uh, the yields uh, on Treasuries come off, we could see the, the, the yield on the 10-year, for instance, uh, head back towards 2.3%. That would bring some pressure down on the dollar, although that might um, finally help gold and silver to find a bid.